Monday night prime time. Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. It's time for Monday Night Football yeah. on EA Sports. <laughs> it's the National Football League presented by. No promises I uh, can finish this game. <laughs> I didn't know you were playing. I, was, I just started one. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Why? Why are you starting this play? What time is it? Oh, eh. I don't know. I was trying to get it done. Uh, uh, I was trying to get it done. Oh, I ain't worried about it. I got other stuff for it. That's why I ain't said nothing. Dang. They'll run. This is Melvin Gordon. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. You are so beautiful. 18 carries. Oh, why am I saying that? Hey. He's the number two runner in the league. And you just know the <laughs> offensive know. line wants to get him to number one. Because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of the ball. I think about starting the season with Cincinnati. In their future oh. if he becomes a leading rusher. Throwing on second and eight. Hurts. Here's a good idea. Oh, right nice catch. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl. <laughs> Without right. a doubt, that's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. <clears throat> it's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Hurts throw taken in by Ridley here. Man, he'll go out of bounds after taking you a little further down inside the 40. So Yeah, push me forward. <laughs> this running game so important for them, and they know that it helped lead him to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. They go back to Gordon here on first down, and he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Second and six. Throwing his hurts. Oh, Dell Beckham Jr. with a diving grab. And not all spectacular Hello? catches are Hello? the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. Going right back to Beckham here, complete. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Hmm. Uh, He's got his target. It's I can cut that off. <laughs> what? Play call limit. How many times you call the same play? And the Colts oh. take it right down and score on the opening drive. 
Looking sharp on that first drive. He's got uh, coming on back to back victories and you see that kind of advancing off on into me. this game, don't you? Ah, uh, no. Nah. When you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, <laughs> yeah, we... even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there. That nice opening drive because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. <laughs> Fielded just outside the goal line. And oh, what a hit! The 25 and up to the 20 yard line. So out comes the Washington offense. Yo, 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 was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. On first and 10, Tannehill. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. Who's that? I don't know a fan. the 30 yard line. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end, and he goes out right around the 39. These guys hooking up right away here, Charles. Two plays, both passes in his direction, and both catches. And in our time together, have we not seen the tight end position continue to develop yeah. in the passing game? You know, at some point, we may not call them tight ends anymore. We may have to come up with an entirely different way of designating that position and what they do on the field. Because when I hear tight end, I think the old school, hand in the dirt, blocking on the line of scrimmage. These guys are much more receiver than they are guys who are going to move in the pass in the running game. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Go, baby, bring jump. Up the third down. And Charles, this defense, I have to imagine, kind of huh. looking at its chops when you get a chance to face the <laughs> well, I said, it ain't going to make me straight. jump. And my surprise <laughs> was listening to their head coach in his weekly presser because normally you and I see guys that get up there and say, ah, everybody's a threat any given Sunday, that sort of thing. But he was asked if this might be a trap game, and he essentially said he didn't see anything to worry about. Now, normally, that will be brought down by the Colts. Cameron Hayward in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Ah, because I think I didn't get it. There in time. Shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all. Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Eight yards of completion, but now they face third down. <laughs> They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And it's a first down and more for Gordon. And he'll take it to the 43 yard line. on defense there. They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Hurts throw taken in here by Fuller. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. 
in Washington territory now. Here's first and ten at the 32-yard line. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on round number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day. Ah, I was doing so good. Center. It's Desmond Trufant. Oh, no and he just down across the 15 to the 16 yard line. Uh, and Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football. Because remember, he... I was eight of eight. Eh. <sighs> Oh, no. I was eight of eight, and I already had a hundred passing yards. <laughs> Have identified something Good, on tape what he's doing, maybe yeah. the movement, maybe the way he's moving his shoulders. Who knows what it could Die. be? He can have a few tells out there that they're keying in on I'll get it back. and allowing defenses to get to the football a little bit faster. People steal signals. Maybe sometimes they can figure out what the quarterback's doing just by his movements. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw complete there to Thomas. And he works it across the 25. Who's that? Oh, they got Michael tackle. Thomas, too. Jeez. The numbers for Thomas from mm -hmm. last week's effort. Five and catches, do, do, do. 95 yards, and a score. And he was able to haul that pass in there, but he knows he's got a tough task ahead of him. This unit in the top five. Well, they're not going to hike it. really work hard to get open. Yeah. Figures. After one seven nothing on EA Sports. <laughs> on first down, it's Tannehill. Ah, looking left side, right and it's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. My hat to stay on fire like I've been driving on the field like it's nothing. all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Tannehill's throw into the hands of Fan. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Tannehill throwing again. And his throw here is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. I would take that back. Hey, what to the stream? That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And he's got four. Uh, it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. A very quick pass to Ridley. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now Gordon on first down. 48 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Push his way forward down to the one yard. yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, Son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in. <laughs> and that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Calvin Ridley. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Colts add on to their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. For the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying Run, to establish Rivera. an inside run. run Yay. The now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Tannehill. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball down the field as well. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 35. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw there, complete to Mooney. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first down, it's Elliott. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Washington with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Tannehill. And this will be caught by Mooney. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. separation that's what's going to make the play successful that time there was very little and i think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted no he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage they got the first there down there wasn't even thought of a short field goal there was no hesitation they were going for it i think he was thinking ahead a couple plays ago that if he got in this situation they were and he is ah. in the end zone touchdown washington jj taylor his second touchdown on the season. And Washington able to make this a close game again. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And they get the right Me too. Uh, I will eventually. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Like I'm going to go soon. I'm getting sleep. I just got sacked back to back. So I'm getting sleepy. I'm like, And the numbers for the last drive. And he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them. And the quarterback is accurate. Ow, like I got a hit hard. A a perfect game, isn't no. it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he's able to get this one out. About to screw that pass up. Across the 45. Yeah. First down, Hurts. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And now uh, they're in the wrong area. Play. Area. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And incomplete on the deep <clears throat> ball. I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. Watch He's had his way bro. so far. Bro. But on that last Hurt. one, that worked quite well for the defense. On second and ten. Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That's just flat out a terrific play because it's rare that you see a hitch route batted down. That means someone read that one really well and was right on the spot when the ball got to the receiver. Over the middle complete. That's Gordon. 
And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 22-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 yeah, seconds to go in this first half. Starting to play God, stupid now. Hurts. Dang. That's out to the flag for Gordon. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Hmm. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Hurts. Flush to his right. Touchdown, Colts! Will Fuller as the first half is winding down. And the Colts will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 21-7. to So that drive in total eight plays, and the result for the Colts is a touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. As they'll take over with just 13 seconds to go before the break. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And they call a timeout. So we Dang. hit halftime here in Indianapolis where the Colts on the top. Hosier. As we'll head down to no Orlando, idea. that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Jeez. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports hmm? Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on. I threw for 225 past the yards already. <laughs> we'll begin our tour up at First Energy Stadium Dang. in Cleveland. That's, this, is what, this ain't how I play. What the heck? Kyler Murray. <laughs> Strong as usual in the victory as his guys run their record now to seven and three. From and I there, still got a decent Stadium amount of rushing yards. Kansas City. To see what's going on <coughs> with the Chiefs. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. Justin Herbert, terrific in the win as his guys up their mark to seven and four with the victory. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Minnesota Vikings. J.K. Dobbins, a touchdown run in the victory. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome... <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna head to bed too. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yes, yes. Alright, y'all, this stream is ending. It's ready by time. Hope y'all have a great night. Appreciate y'all for watching. I can't talk. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
Wait, Mark's playing Vanguard. Is he? That's what it says. Huh. Uh, <coughs> Maybe, uh... I don't know. Playing offline. Oh, that's weird. Why would it show up? Huh. <laughs>